ಓಂ ದಂ ಧನ್ವಂತರೇ ನಮಃ ಕರ್ಪೂರ ಗೌರಂ ಕರುಣಾವತಾರಂ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಾರಂ ಭುಜಗೇಂದ್ರ ಹಾರಂ ಸದಾ ವಸಂತ ಹೃದಯಾರವಿಂದೇ ಓಂ ಭವಾನಿ ಸಹಿತ ನಮಾಮಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ so this is the just like the air bank program that it so in just uh, just x ray we have to see some points that it so when uh, the points like uh, trachea then uh, lung parenchyma then cardiothoracic ratio then uh, mediastinum and uh, hilar shadows and costophrenic angle cardiophrenic angle diaphragm hemidiaphragm and any coil shadow any consolidation or infiltration of fibrosis these are and uh, pleural effusion they are all to be noted in a just x ray first here you see if you if two structures having similar radiographic density are at the same depth then the interface between them is obliterated that is a silhouette sign isn't it so you see this is positive silhouette sign because left cardiac border is uh, interrupted by the white shadow isn't it in the lungs we cannot see the demarcation between the left cardiac shadow and the the other shadow that this is the positive silhouette sign it is in the lingular lobe because cardiac border is affected it is in the lingular lobe. the consolidation is in the lingular lobe isn't it this is a negative silhouette sign you can see white haziness in the left lungs isn't it arrow mark shows at the cardiac border left cardiac border left cardiac border is not silhouetted so it is in the left lower lobe consolidation is in the left lower lobe isn't it so you see silhouette sign with the if the shadow silhouettes with the arch of the aorta then it is in the left up, upper lobe isn't it so if it silhouettes on the left left lower area of the card cardiac shadow left cardiac shadow in the lower level so if the if the consolidation is silhouettes with the left cardiac border then it is in the lingular lobe the this consolidation in the lingular lobe similarly if the consolidation is silhouettes with the right cardiac border it is in the right middle lobe is it right? if it silhouettes with the diaphragm at left right diaphragm it is in the left right lower lobe consolidation in the right lower lobe isn't it so you see here the the in the left left uh, lungs it silhouettes with the left cardiac border it is in the left lower lobe and one more consolidation is in the right middle lobe isn't it You see, it's a uniform white shadow confined to a lobe. It is due to consolidation. You see, in the right middle lobe. So here, the uniform white opacity or consolidation is related in the left lower lobe. Sorry, uh, left lower because it is in how she loads with the left left diaphragmatic border. Here you see in the apex. apex of the left lung there is a white shadow isn't it that is due to consolidation here is it is clear isn't it here middle lobe right middle lobe consolidation isn't it you can see it silhouettes with the right cardiac border it is in the right middle lobe consolidation in the right middle lobe here you see right 
left lower lobe consolidation because the white shadow is still also with the left diaphragmatic border, isn't it? That is a left to lower lobe. We abscess in abscess, you see, there is a air fluid level, isn't it? In the lungs, lung abscess, it is. You see, malignancy, bronchogenic carcinoma. In bronchogenic carcinoma, sundry appearance will be there. And uh, the in the mid in the this one mid mid or in the center that means the hilar area there is the white opacity. Isn't it? So you see this artifact because of a breast shadow, isn't it? It is, seems to be fibrosis in the right uh, lung, but it is not fibrosis. It is the breast shadow, isn't it? Artifact. So in consolidation, the following points are that uniform white opacity affects a lo lobe of lobe or segment confined to a lobe. Air bronchogram will be there, and chilled sound is positive. So anatomical representation of the lobes of the lungs. So here you see, this is the right upper lobe. The red area you can see that is right upper lobe. This is right middle lobe. You see, right middle lobe, isn't it? Red area, right lower lobe, right. So in the right upper lobe, uh, uh, consolidation is there. It will shallow to the right cardiac part, uh, up, uh, apex of the heart. Uh, no, sorry, upper part of the heart. If uh, the consolidation shallow to the uh, right cardiac border, it is in the middle lobe. If it shallow to the uh, right diaphragmatic border, it is uh, in the right lower lobe, isn't it? You see, if it shallows with the orthophyrta area, it is in the left upper lobe. That is, if it shallows with the left cardiac border, it is in the lingular lobe. The cellular, if the cellular sign is there with the left cardiac border, then it is the consolidation in the ling left lingular lobe. If uh, the if the consolidation silhouettes with the left hemidiaphragm, then it is in the left lower lobe, as seen in the picture, isn't it? So you see, what is the difference between consolidation and infiltration? Consolidation confined to a lung, white in form opacity, confined to a lung uh, uh, lobe, is known as consolidation. That is infiltration, cotton wool like fluffy uh, patches are there, uh, patches of uh, opacity is there. That is due to infiltration, that is fluid infiltration. Consolidation is in pneumonia, is it? Infiltration is seen in pulmonary edema and other conditions, is it? So you see the consolidation and infiltration. You see consolidation is confined to the upper lobe, right upper lobe, isn't it? Right upper lobe. And you can see it's a clear demarcation with the right lower lobe, is it? Whereas when it is uniform white opacity. Consolidation is uniform white opacity. You can see on the right side infiltration, fluid infiltration, pattern will like fluffy nature of the shadow, that is discrete shadow. That is due to infiltration, fluid infiltration, as seen in pulmonary edema. That is so bronchopneumonia. You can see bronchopneumonia that uh, the course of the bronchi there is white shadow is there. This type of shadow is seen in bronchopneumonia, pulmonary edema, also, isn't it? And bronchial asthma, chronic uh, conditions. So. You see bronchopneumonia. You can see the right upper, um, below, light lower lobe. You can see cotton blue like fluffy nature is there, shadow. That's it. It's also bronchopneumonia. In the lung parenchyma, you see cotton like, cotton -like, cotton -like uh, discrete shadows are there, fluffy nature. That's it. That is known as, that is seen in bronchopneumonia also. That's it. So, if such a shadow is there, four possibilities are there. One is bronchopneumonia, number two, acute pulmonary edema, number two, secondary carcimatosis, and fungal infection. In these four conditions, cotton wool like fluffy shadow will be there. So, bronchopneumonia, acute pulmonary edema, secondary carcinomatosis, and fungal infections. Isn't it? Then, pulmonary edema. This is a pulmonary edema case, isn't it? You can see. The fluid, uh, fluid effusion also is it? It is the all the other friends are masked. Yes, yes. So you see, antler sign, pulmonary edema first is antler sign. 
So upper zone muscles will be prominent as a horns of an antler. It is known as antler sign, isn't it? So you see curly ABC lines, curly A lines. A stands for apex, B stands for base, C stands for center, isn't it? Cardiomegaly will be there and there will be there will be upper zone muscle prominence, that is the antler sign. Then lower zone vessels will be diminished and there will be early ABC lines. This is due to lymphatic edema, isn't it? Early A lines, the parallel lines from the periphery to the uh, heart, towards the heart, in the apex, it is known as Kelly A lines. Kelly V lines, similar lines, thin lines, parallel lines in the base of the lungs. That is B lines, Kelly V lines. See in the center. That's it. And there will be there will be butterfly shadow. Butterfly shadow and plural effusion. Right plural here, light plural effusion is seen in the costophrenic angle is obliterated by fluid shadow. That's it. So, curly B lines, the parallel lines in the base of the lungs, isn't it? Due to lymphatic edema, isn't it? Curly A lines, parallel lines in the apex of the lungs towards the center. It is curly A lines, isn't it? Lymphatic edema. Curly A lines, curly C lines in the center, isn't it? Parallel lines, small parallel lines are there. So, bad swing appearance in the both sides. There will be fluid infiltration, seen to be as a bad swing or butterfly. 